Hello everyone, it's Silvero here again, back with a new video. I'm sorry it's been more than a month, actually a month and 10 days, since the last update, which is terrible. I'm sorry, I'd like to keep you guys updated as much as I can. But today I have a big update for you. Uh, this update is Android Wear version 1.3, which may be confused with the Android version, with which is 5.1.1, but don't worry about that. The Android Wear version is the one that it's used like to link be between your phone and your watch. So this is basically what gives you all the features that normal Android doesn't have. For example, the interface that it's specially designed for watches. Um, and well, also in this new update, we get two big things that are new. One is interactive watch faces, which can be described as like a watch face, but more useful. Basically, that's like Google's attempt at this. Uh, the idea is to make a watch face interactive, as the name says, interactive watch faces. And you can click on anywhere on the screen and like to activate another app or an action or to just to display more information. It, it's actually pretty useful. Um, there's one app, sorry, one watch face designed by Google that it's designed to like let you connect with friends. Like, have you ever seen that um, like feature the Apple Watch has that you can tap your friends and send them, send them your heart rate and that? weird creepy stuff well similar but you can send them like messages and not your heart rate um well so i think it's a pretty cool update also we get the new google translate app which is pretty neat if you're trying uh, planning on traveling um, overseas or somewhere where you don't speak the like local language uh, you can use this if you are connected to your phone and have an internet connection to translate over 44 different languages. So you will talk to your watch in your language. It will display text in the other language with what you said. And then the other person can reply in their language and it will display the text in your language. So it's pretty neat. Um, to have that functionality in your watch is a lot more comfortable. Uh, we hope it works well. Um, and well. There's also my favorite watch face for 1.3. My favorite interactive watch face is called Blitz, which has like a lot of shortcuts or as they originally called them, complications. <clears throat> Apple Watch. <clears throat> um, so yeah, that's my favorite one. I'll leave a link in the description. And well, let's start with the flashing. The first thing we need to do is to download the link in the description with the ROM file. As always, this is an incremental update, so you could just do it without a factory reset, like update from the previous version. Um, but I heavily recommend you to update, to, sorry, to do a factory reset, okay? So let's get to it. Download your file and connect your watch to the computer in download mode. To do this, we're going to grab our watch and we're going to hold the power button. Ignore this until we get the rebooting screen. Here we're going to tap several times. We're going to go into download mode. Once in download mode, it's time to move to the computer. Once in your computer, what we're going to do is um, open Odin, which is the application we usually use to flash this. Uh, remember, we have to have the companion Odin file, um, which has to be in the same place as the Odin app. So just put them together into desktop and that will be the easiest way to do it. We also need our file, which will be in the description. As you can see, it's 23 of September, which is today really late in the night uh, and now let's open Odin we'll click yes okay if your device is properly connected and your drivers are installed you will get the added sign if you don't have your drivers installed uh, you ha will have to go just google search USB drivers for Samsung phones 
and you will see a page that starts like developer.samsung something and there you can download the drivers and just install them really easily okay um, once you have the added sign all you have to do is select AP go into your file which is in my desktop we select the today's file open okay we have it selected and all we have to do is to click start so let's go ahead Okay, once flashing the file is finished, we will reboot into recovery. Here we go. Now we're in the recovery. What we're going to do is going to wipe. Well, I heavily recommend you to do a factory reset because since it's a, a huge update, it will have a lot of differences and you don't want to have issues. So let's do a wipe, okay? Going to wipe, factory reset. You just have to swipe and wait for it to complete. Great, so now that our factory reset is completed, we press the home button to go into the main menu and we're going to click reboot and system. Now, remember the first boot always takes forever, so let's be patient, okay? Yay, so it actually took four minutes to boot up. And now that we're in, we're going to set up our device. Okay, so I paired my watch with my phone and I've been playing around with the, the, with the watch for a while. And I've noticed it works surprisingly well. For example, I downloaded the Blitz watch face, the one I told you with the <clears throat> complications and I actually like it, but also I think the complications make it way too complicated. So, like, if you wake up your device, it will appear like this, for example. Like, it's turned off, turn your device on, and oh, it's like this. The hour is right here. You can, of course, enlarge it by clicking on it. You see the seconds and everything. You can see your steps, for example. You can see your battery on your watch and on your phone, which is quite helpful, actually. I can see my millions of emails that I have to read. Um, uh, the temperature, for example. I mean, it's really nice. It's helpful. Although, oh, this is nice. Uh, we get a full calendar here. It's really nice and helpful. I just wish there was a way to keep my hour in big, like the time in big and then just click away to move through everything but probably it will come in future updates uh, I, I mean I, I really like the the blitz watch face i also have the together watch face uh, the one i told you about with the friends that you can poke each other stuff so i paired with my friend here and we're going to try it i've never actually used it so let's set, set the watch face okay together Together, send your pattern, partner a message, touch your partner's photo to get started. Okay, so wait, touch my partner's photo. I will touch, touch my partner, okay. I will send him a photo, let's send, 
sent him a voter. Okay. Ooh. Oh, so I can watch the pictures in my phone. This is awesome. This is surprisingly cool. Like, dude, this is OP. Okay, so I sent him a picture of quesadillas. Let's hope he receives it and replies, probably. And the time looks pretty well, also. I bet you can configure the colors. Well, wow, it's it's cool, actually. We can also doodle to his w watch. Like, mm, mm, wah. <laughs> yeah, let's <that's>, end. <laughs> okay, this is hilarious. It's kind of useless, but hilarious, okay? Um, I'm guessing that crossed watch over there is that he's not wearing his watch currently. Or it's turned off or something because it's late at night, so he probably went to sleep. But it looks pretty nice. Let's try the other new thing. The oh, by the way, tapping in the screen will no longer ah will no longer bring you the app menu, the app drawer. You have to swipe because since the watch faces are now interactive, probably if you're not on an interactive watch face like this one, probably it works. No. You see, like since the new interactive watch faces are implemented, you can't click on it to go to the app drawer. You have to swipe. Here, let's go to the, the to the new translate app. It must be pretty cool. Let's see if it works. So translate. Oh, here we go. So hello. Hmm. Oh, well, yeah. That app needs a little bit of work. I mean, it's a pretty cool idea. Oh, you heard that sound? That was weird. Well, I'll try to fix it. If I find a fix, I'll post a video, okay? Yeah, okay, it's definitely not working. So Google Translate is not working yet. Uh, I'll try to make it work, okay? I promise. Uh, but. Outside from that, you can check here into the About section. The versions. Android Wear 1.3.0.2160025. Pretty cool, actually. So, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoy your watch. I hope it's been helpful. And please, if you have any doubts or questions, uh, comment me on YouTube or you can contact me via Hangouts here um, and I'll try to reply your message as quick as possible um, I'm always glad to help so thanks for watching and see you in the next time peace